Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Legacy Challenge uh, Generation 2, which is Toy Story Part 35. We're going into labor! And we just, just passed the hospital. So Elle is actually teaching Peter how to drive currently. Like, honestly, I feel that isn't the best idea. Like, I know I'm the one who like, made them do this, but in, like, real life, if you're learning to drive... I just, I don't think bringing your pregnant mother along with you is the best idea. Because if you get in a wreck, like, no. No. <laughs> um, so, I'm waiting for Peter to finally, okay, finally stop, let his mom out of the car. We're going to have Noah take Ella to the hospital. He'll most likely end up actually meeting with her. Um... So, we're just going to send Peter home. Girl, are you walking? No. Okay, I'm like, please don't tell me you're walking to the hospital. I mean, I know it's just, you know, up the street away, but still, please don't walk. Okay, we're... We'd be good. Okay, um... So... Our air is going to be born in this part. I'm so excited, and it's it's lagging. It's, I'm frozen. I have the uh, spinny rainbow circle of doom. Ah! Sorry, something just fell. Okay. <laughs> and, like, another thing. Why? I don't like how they have the pregnant Sims driving. In this game. Like, your Sim goes into labor? Well, she's the one who gets to drive the car. Wait, are we waiting for Noah? Please tell me we are not waiting for Noah. Like, never mind, because we're most likely waiting for him to, like, run over here or something, which is going to take forever. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Where'd she go? Ah! This is so not working! Ugh. I'm sorry, that noise is so unnecessary. But okay, have baby at hospital, and Noah will just, like, drive there and meet us. You be you be good girl. You're like all good. She looks like demonic because I can't see her eyes. All you see is like the eyeliner. So it looks like her eyes are black. Oh well. Okay. Don't be walking. Ella. Okay. Like she just she starts walking. I'm like, please. This is taking so much longer than necessary. There we go, this is better. Yeah, and I know that she was, you know, she was only up there. But pregnant sims take forever. They just... So long. So long. You better get over here. You better get over here. Noah. Noah. I'm just going to teleport him over here. He'll show up, and he'll just eventually... Yep, there we go. I want pictures. This is, like, Ella's last child. Like, this will be Ella's last child. I'm not having more children. And, like, how fake does that look in the background? Like, supposedly at the end of the hall. Like, how fake does that look? It looks like they cut a picture out of a magazine and just, like, decided to post it there. Whatever. It's the last child. I'm so excited. This is going to be so awesome. Last baby. Guys, like. <sighs> now, I already know. And I made sure I did cheat. It will be a girl. And I already know what her name is going to be. So exciting, exciting. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Okay. And this little girl's name is going to be Jessie! Jessie is my favorite. Absolutely favorite. Hands down favorite. Can I say that anymore? Uh, character from Toy Story. I love Jessie. Um, I was Jessie in second grade for Halloween. Um, 
I have a little Jessie doll. Oh, I should have totally grabbed her. Give me just a second. I'm going to grab Jessie. Okay, sorry, you're hearing, like, rustling and stuff. I know I totally should have just, like, cut that out. But, like, so I didn't want to, because I got my Jessie doll. And, um, she does she's not, like, an actual Jessie. I should, I don't know. She doesn't have the yarn hair. She has, it's literally a bunch of plastic. <laughs> Her hair is plastic. And she's so dirty, but I loved this doll so much. And, like, her boot is all shoot up because one of my dogs got a hold of her when I was little, but... I bet we can get all the other toys together for some dancing, too! Ah! Uh, see, and she has the string on the back where you pull it, she talks. I love Jessie. I never put her hat on, though. I, like, I have her hat, but I never put it on because it never stayed on. But yeah, like, Jessie is, like, all-time favorite. She's gonna sit over here and just, you know, chill. <laughs> She's gonna chill. Okay, so, Jessie, ooh, crap, I didn't, she have to have certain traits, like, I so don't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, da 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 dum It doesn't say. I'm not, like, with the rule that, the things that I have down, um, because I take the rules from, there's, like, two different, um, legacy challenge like disney legacy challenges there's like a disney princess one and then there's one that's i think called literally called disney legacy and i sort of chose like um rules from both and like mashed them together um and it doesn't say any certain traits <sighs> so i mean and i don't know snow white that well i honestly find her really annoying like i can't stand her voice i can't stand her voice. So I want to go, we're going to go with traits that like Jessie will have. She will of course have the childish trait when she hits a young adult or at some point she will have childish trait. Um, but well, she's definitely, I want to give her excitable and friendly, but I also sort of want to give her genius because she, you know, now we're going with excitable and friendly. Yes. Jessie! I want to give her red hair. I won't. Um, if she, whichever hair color she has, I will sort of tint it to be more red. So if like she's a blonde, then she'll have. I'll give her like strawberry red hair. Um, if she's a brunette, then I will give her auburnish hair. Cause I want some red in the hair. Okay, I'm that big of a fan of Jessie. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I want Noah to come out. Where's Noah? Noah. There we go. Oh, no, I want him out. Come on out. Yes. Last child. Last child. And I already know what I'm naming her imaginary friend. Oh, we don't have it yet, though, do we? We don't. No, we don't. This is so exciting, though. Like. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh no! Oh, Trisha's in her pregnancy shirt. Because if you guys don't remember, Trisha's pregnant. And I did. Okay, so I did move them all around. I will show you where really quick. So, I moved. Oh, actually, I'm not remembering where I moved. <laughs> where I moved them. Um, that's right. Okay, so. We did a lot of like. So, Fairy Godmother used to live in this house right here, and I, it has, like, originally I think it only had, like, two bedrooms and then, like, a workout room or something, but I have remade the house to where there's four bedrooms, there's only, there's two bathrooms, I think. It is smaller, and it's not as nice as uh, Rex and Patricia's old house, but it has the room, so I'm like, you know, it's all good. I did make sure they had nice appliances, you know, they have a really nice car, it's not, it's not there, um, but 
this is where they're living now. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark out. Um, and they moved there. Fairy Godmother and Evan had actually moved themselves. Like, story progression moved them all the way over here. So they're our neighbors. <laughs> they be our neighbors in this, um, this really nice house. It'll work with me here. And so, once again, it's hard to see. I'm not really going to wait for it to load up. You get the gist of what it looks like. And then, in Rex and Patricia's old house. Come on. Game. Okay. In Rex and Patricia's old house is um, Trixie and Kevin. I don't know where Kevin is right now. He's not home. But yeah, Trixie and Kevin live where Rex and Patricia used to. And then you still got Buzz and uh, Lily up here. Yay. Okay. I'm so excited! Ah! Yes! And, like, I sort of just want to, like, immediately age her up. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait the whole baby stage. It's just too long. I'm being really whiny today. I'm sorry. Okay, how many days? Two. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Was that? What is that? Oh, oh. I got so excited for no reason. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know. I saw. I don't know what I saw. Okay, now that I look at it closer, it does not look like what I thought it was. I'm like, someone has a Camaro? Like, uh, uh. like for those of you who don't know, I have two dream cars. And you guys probably know about Kit, okay? You probably know. Well, technically three, because I like both Kits. Uh, from the 1980 series and from the 2008 series that not a lot of people like. But I like them both. I'd probably... I'd be happy with either. Maybe just a little happier if I had the 1980 Trans Am. But anyways, my other dream car is Bumblebee from Transformers. Uh, either from the first or second movie. After the first movie, I hated, I hate the way he looks. I didn't like how he looked in the third movie. Didn't like how he looks in the fourth movie. And I definitely don't like how he's looking in this fifth movie because his whole hood is black. You can't do that. He's called Bumblebee because he has stripes on his hood. And in this new movie, he doesn't have stripes. So he can't be Bumblebee. He's like a big blob. It's like a Bumblebee with like a big black blob on it. Like no stripes. It's just a big blob of black. Like, no. Oh my god. Could Anastasia is getting married too. Ella's stepsisters have finally found someone who will accept them for them. Go them. I I pity the husbands. Okay, um. Should we just age her up now? I want to age her up now. You know what? I'm aging her up now. I don't even care. We're gonna get her a birthday cake. No. Yeah, I, I want to get her a birthday cake, but I don't want to wake Peter up. Eh, screw it. We're gonna get a birthday cake. <laughs> but like, I really want either a 2010 Chevy Camaro, yellow with black race car stripes, or a 2012. I'd prefer the 2010, but I'd be okay with the 2012 because they're pretty similar looking. And last night, I went out to dinner with my parents, and we were driving by. Uh, it is a used car lot, but just, like, hear me out, okay? We drove by this car lot. And guess who was sitting in the car lot? It was a bumblebee. It was a Camaro. And I was, like, getting so excited. And my dad even, like, pulled into the lot and checking it out. And he's, like, you know, it's got, you know, good miles on it. It doesn't have a lot of miles on it. Gets good gas mileage. It's, you know, it was simply traded off because the family before needed a bigger car. And it just didn't work. And it even has my little Autobot logo above the front wheels. Ah, like, um, it doesn't have the stripes. But the thing is, the stripes aren't actually a part of the paint. If you don't know, they're actually just decals. So, 
we can easily put the decals on. I'm like, Dad, let's do it. I want my bumblebee. It's so like, I was on, like, bumblebee rampage last night. Like, I came home. I was watching, like, clips of bumblebee. I even watched the first Transformers. And, you know, I was up to, like, one this morning watching these. But, like, I'm just like, yes, I gotta, I gotta watch them. I just had to watch it. I had to watch map. And I, I get out of the car. And I go up to the Camaro. And I'm, like, looking. And I'm like, my baby boy. And my parents are like, what? I'm like, I'm sorry. That just sort of slipped out. Like, I literally called my car. Not, not my car. The car. <laughs> what? Grab a slice. Grab a slice. What? Did I leave the wet? Oh my god, I left the wedding cake out. And it's still nice quality. Take it advantage. Okay, I don't know what Ella is doing. Like, she's not wanting to age Jesse up. But yeah, like, that's my little rant for today. That, like, there's a bumblebee. There is a Camaro that, can, that has the Autobot already on it. The Autobot logo. It's yellow. It's the right color. This is not working. Okay. Come put down Jesse over here. We're going to have to do with the trigger age transition way. But guys, like I can't even begin to express how excited and happy I was to see we have a bumblebee just sitting at this used car lot. Uh-oh. I don't like that music. Is that... Are we getting haunted? Please tell me we're being haunted. Yeah. Okay. Lucifer's coming to haunt us. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Do I have testing sheets on? I do! Go me. Okay. Ella... We're gonna have you go grab a slice of wedding cake. Um, and we'll have Noah. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Yep, it was. I think it's just Lucifer. Okay. But so excited. And my dad is literally considering doing this. Like, because we have, okay, so we have this 1994 uh, Corvette uh, in the garage that my dad got, like, years ago. Um, oh, she's another, we have another brunette. We have only had one blonde child this whole time. It's actually, I find that really surprising. Anyways, um, taking her to creatism. So, my dad got this Corvette. It's like really pretty. It's got a really nice red. Uh, it's, a, it's a really pretty car. But it has its original tires. And my dad calls it the original fluid. So like everything in like a part of the car is the same as when he got it. And my dad's to the point that, oh, she's so cute. So cute. Sorry. That he doesn't trust the tires anymore. He's afraid that the tires are going to blow out. And so, the Corvette just sort of sits in our garage, and my dad, he's, he's just, he's kind of to the point that he's, to get, like, a, like a, a more fun car, he's willing to trade the Corvette in and put a little money forth, um, for, like, a, a new car, and so there was this Mustang that, black Mustang, 2015, um, I'm just trying to find a, we'll just do this base game, just one, so I can, uh, see her hair, um, but it was at 2014, yeah, um, I'm sort of concentrating, is that too, that's too red, I don't want it to be, There we go. It has a little more... No, now it's not. 
not enough red. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'll continue in just a second. You guys probably don't care, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, cute. Okay. Um, but it was a 2014 black Mustang convertible. You know, really nice car. And my dad had contacted the guy who was selling it. He's like, I will, you know, I'll trade you my Corvette plus, you know, some money um, for it. And after the guy heard what my dad was selling, like, he no longer contacted my dad. And my dad's like, he's probably not willing to put that much money into the vet and stuff. But, you know, he's willing to try that again. Oh, my God, she's so cute. Try and remember if I've used this hair. I have the feeling I have. I use this hair all the time. It is so cute. I mean, Trixie's the only other girl we've had, and I can't remember. I think we used this hair on Trixie, didn't we? Yeah. I'm using this one. So cute. Uh huh. Okay. Um. I want to give her freckles. Jessie has freckles, doesn't she? Oh, oh well. But my dad's willing to do that again. Purple. Okay. So. Oh, my timer. Okay. So I'll finish this up. I know, I totally was like ranting the whole time about cars, and I doubt any of you actually cared. But, you know, I. I'm home alone today, and I just want to rant. I just want someone to talk to. <laughs> like, granted, even if my parents were here, like, I probably wouldn't go downstairs and just talk with them. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Uh, but, like, eh, I don't know. My friends get really annoyed when I start talking about cars. So... I kind of shy away from that. Um, I don't know what to put her in. She's so cute, though. Like, why are you so cute? Um, I'm kind of liking this dress. I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll just do this. But yeah, and then um, because you know I love my Camaro so much I um I've downloaded a bunch of them into my game and like of different years and I wish that they came with you know the stripes on them but they don't <laughs> but um we'll just leave her barefoot cute <laughs> but, like there's no stripes so it's not I don't know I just wanted to talk about Ben Baby. Ben Baby. He's so cute too. Like the actual character, Bumblebee, he's the youngest of the Transformers. For like those of you who don't know, I'm gonna geek out again. Um he's the youngest of the Transformers. And he's also the best fighter. Uh if you haven't realized Bumblebee is the only one that is still with us that's from the first movie. Except for Optimus. But Optimus is actually, no offense to him, like, trust me, he's my second favorite. Um, Optimus is actually a really bad fighter. Like, if you watch him fight, he comes really close to losing most times. And when he doesn't lose, he normally is, it's normally because he has help from whether it's, you know, and I think in the first movie... I was getting really tired by the time the end of the movie came around last night, so I can't even remember. Um, I think... I think the government helped him. Like, um... You know the military guys? Um, I can't. I'm not... I'm not remembering. But, like, every time, Optimus rarely ever defeats Megatron on his own. No, no! I remember, okay, no, Sam is the one who ends up uh, destroying Megatron because he puts the cube in Megatron's chest. So some human kid does this. Optimus can't do this, but some human kid can. Like, what? What? Ugh. Oh, well. Yeah, 
just he's just not the best fighter. So okay, we're gonna go put Jesse in her crib. Um, and I I will end this part here. Thank you. I'm so sorry for all the ranting. Like once I get started though, I can't stop. If you guys, if you guys don't, don't like it, let me, let me know, know and I will try, try a, lot a lot harder to not, to not do that. that. Um, um, like I would like try, try my hardest not to, not to you know, rant, rant and rant on about stuff you guys, you guys most likely don't care about. Care about. Um, um, but yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys, uh, thank you guys so, much so much for watching. And don't, forget don't forget to, to comment, comment and like, like, and subscribe. I'm playing with my Jessie doll, doll, doll again. Uh, she's, uh, she's so dirty. dirty. Like, I, she's, she's so, so well, well loved, loved, like the like, details are like, wearing out of her. Out of her like, like little, little details, details on her shirt and stuff are like, they're wearing out and stuff. It's really sad, but... I think that's how you know she's so loved. But yeah, yeah, I'll end this track here. Thank you, thank you. Bye guys. Bye guys.